Yo, what's up, everybody? Hitman BK, and we've got another video. This time about the first ascendant. Obviously, that was the uh, thumbnail, and you clicked it, so you know what it is. Uh, but we've got a dev note, dev note volume six. Uh, this is my first kind of like following of the dev notes for first ascendant. Um, clearly, there have been a whole bunch more, but they're not really all that important. They were what led up to the beta that everybody got to play, the open beta that actually came out just over a month ago, um, and I actually really enjoyed it. Our People from our uh, Filthy Casuals community enjoyed it, so I decided I was going to follow along with this game um, as we wait for release. And we have a pretty sizable dev note that came out, and so I'm going to cover all of that. Uh, and hopefully, uh, yeah, you guys enjoy it. So if you like all of this, make sure you like and subscribe and comment and share with your friends because that's what good that's what good people do. And then if you want, you should totally click on the Discord link and head on over to the Filthy Casual Discord and come join us. We're playing all sorts of stuff, but let's get right into it. All right. I got my coffee. I've skipped my intros now because I got pinged on the song. Is what it is. Dev note numero six. They said, greetings, descendants. The first descendant producer... I'm not going to pronounce that name. It's already been um, over a month since we ran the crossplay beta. That's what I was saying. Of the first ascendant, if you guys got to play it, uh, sound off in the comments what you thought about it. I actually think uh, that it might have been. A, I was just actually talking to somebody about how it's probably a better version of Warframe, and I'm probably a bit crucified for that. But uh, personally, I really, I really did enjoy this beta. Uh, the reason that they haven't been able to share more news with everyone sooner is because they've received so much feedback from the beta and people who participated in it, and with their with basically all of our credible support and interest. Uh, they had a lot to consider in shaping the game for a better gaming experience. As a result, we were able to get some major directions in a broad framework on how we are going to develop the first Ascendant. And today I'd like to share with you what we learned from the crossplay open beta. So this is exciting. Um, Finally, the week-long crossplay beta that started on the 19th of September was cross-platform across all global regions covering PC, PlayStation 4, and 5, Xbox Series, uh, and the Xbox Series. Almost 2 million descendants took part in the test, and while they participated from various regions around the globe, North America showed the most interest and playtime. We are hugely surprised by the level of engagement from console users with a 5-5 split in player count between consoles and PCs. That's really cool. Um, I'm not surprised either. The game actually feels really good on controller. I played it. I ended up playing on controller on PC. Uh, so the key feedback from the crossplay open beta test. So as you mentioned earlier, many descendants participated in this test. And they gave a lot of feedback and there were words of support too, such as how they enjoyed the game and how it has improved since the last Steam beta test. So this is obviously encouraging for the team to hear this stuff, um, but... There was just as much feedback about improvements that are needed to move the first ascendant forward. So this is this is what this dev note is. This is kind of the direction they're going to go. And I am like incredibly blown out right now because of how sheer bright this is. So sorry, sorry y'all. Um, missions to begin with. So if you played this, a big concern for people. I'll just give like my notes as we go through this. Uh, people who were playing the beta actually was that the missions felt a little like a cheap man's version of. Bungie's or Destiny's like uh, patrol missions. They didn't like have a lot of depth and people thought they were kind of repetitive and boring. Um, so they're saying to begin with, they received the most feedback about repetition of missions and underutilization of fields. So the current missions and fields were designed with certain intentions by our dev team, but this crossplay open beta test has made us recognize an urgent need to improve the gameplay. So we're going to make significant improvements to both missions and fields. We'll not only improve the quality of missions, but also add necessary features for co op play and matchmaking support for dungeon missions. This is really, uh, I think this is good. I think what this is probably tied to is in the beta, if you didn't play it, if you joined a dungeon, so you would do these like open world missions and they were very repetitive. Um, but eventually you would get to a point where you could load into a dungeon. But if you if you did it, it would try to match, and you didn't have a full team, it would actually try to match make you, and I ended up in dungeons where I would spawn in at the end of the boss fight, which was like a super sad, because then I didn't get to experience the entirety of the dungeon. I don't even know if in my entire time in the beta I actually experienced the dungeon from start to finish, because I always was running with like maybe two people, um, and I always got uh, 
pulled into someone else's instance. So I'm assuming um, this is probably what they're talking about right here. And most importantly, they're going to introduce new contents to the fields to make the gameplay more enjoyable. We'll share more details about this in the future dev notes when it is ready to be revealed. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. This will be a really, really great change. Uh, prologue and tutorial. Many descendants had positive things to say about the new prologue and tutorial, which made the difficult decision to revamp the prologue after the last uh, Steam beta test all the more rewarding and worthwhile. However, there are also a lot of people who express disappointment with the storytelling in conjunction with the repetitive missions that I mentioned earlier. So the dev team is working on several ideas and improvements. Um, that's good. That's good. Everybody likes to see a story, although I will say, I don't, you know, I mean, like, it's, there's bad guy, go kill bad guy. It's not like a, I don't think the lore is like that intense right now, but who knows? Uh, I did I didn't really dive too much into the storytelling. UI and UX. There were numerous comments about the UI and UX as well. We've made many improvements since the last Steam beta test. They received a lot of feedback. Accordingly, we are going to make improvements to the controls and visibility, including improvements to the module UI that may have uh, many have commented about. And we're also planning to make the much requested loadout feature available at launch. Oh my God, thank you. We're also working on improved gameplay controls for console and gamepad users too. That's great. Loadouts are huge. This is very much like a Warframe game. If you didn't play it, there's a lot of like build diversity and and modding that you you do. It's literally built around like the same kind of systems Warframe uses. So doing it, being able to make those, create a lot out of it, will will uh, will definitely be a huge win. Shooter play and action. They received diverse feedback on the shooter play and action aspects of the game. We're really and we're really encouraged that many have expressed a high level of satisfaction with various combat sound effects. Um, we're planning to continue balancing the combat sound effects. This is a good. The sound effects were kind of weird in the beta, uh, as well as like when music would kick on, especially in the pinnacle boss fights. Uh, so that's good. And adding more detail to increase the quality. In terms of gameplay, there were a lot of complaints of frustrated players due to the difficulty in obtaining ammunition. And I would like to say we're also preparing various improvements for this issue. Cool. Regarding action, there was a great interest in complete in the completely revamped grappling hook and the addition of parkour yes because that that felt really nice while there was a lot of positive feedback there just there was just as many suggestions for improve improvements despite the plentiful feedback on enhancing the action aspect our dev team are honestly cautious about it because of the balance with the shooter play nevertheless we're testing several radical features to answer our citizens requests seriously cool i mean the the uh parkour and the uh grappling hook are fun um they're great movements uh abilities too and i'm excited to see what they decide to how they are want to further push that and then optimization and security they were also aware uh, with the optimization graphics quality and settings so they're working on specific improvements so please look forward to them cool finally we've made it one of our highest priorities to establish measures in response to users who use cheating methods during the crossplay open beta test we apologize once again to our descendants who had any inconvenience from users that did not play in a fair way there are many more developed development matters that I'd like to talk about, but for to, for today, I'll conclude with my thoughts on the future development directions of the game. I believe that for looters, shooters as a genre, growth elements, motivation to play, and ease of player and ease of play over a long playtime are more important than anything else. Therefore, the dev team have been focusing on strengthening the growth elements to enhance the inherent fun of the looter shooter, buffing content that allows players to use a variety of characters, and improving the UI and UX to ensure players aren't frustrated by repetitive gameplay, which is it's going to come with the looter shooter, right? Repetitive gameplay is literally a part of that genre. Even after the release, we'll continue to address any shortcomings and up and keep updating content for descendants to enjoy. This is great. All of this is great. Key future development directions for the future uh, for the first ascendant. The crossplay open beta test was an invaluable time for our dev team, giving us a good look at what our descendants enjoyed, what frustrated them, and the current state of the first ascendant. So we're using these results to test of the test as a basis to discuss our future plans. Descendants, expectations, and support for the test have been so amazing that we're eager to perfect the game even further. This is gonna be about a delay. <laughs> you can just tell where this is going. As such, we're still discussing heatedly about our release schedule and future plans and implement and to implement your feedback for a better quality. So they're looking to launch a period in 2024. Well, I bet you this is gonna come out summer 2024, y'all. 
this is probably going to be like a June 2024 release. We'll provide more details about the release schedule in the near future. It's also heartbreaking for us that we could not deliver on the exact date that you've been expecting. The cross uh, play open beta test was a precious opportunity for our dev team to meet so many descendants and we'll continue to share improvements, changes, and new features through the community as before. Even though the game isn't available to play right now, so many of you are active, supportive, and engaged in the community and through various channels. In response, we'll continue to make the first descendant better together. We remain transparent in our communications and listening to your feedback up until and after the release. Thank you very much. Wow, that's great. I mean, come on, y'all. That's pretty great. And then there was an open beta highlight. Um, this is a fantastic. This is why I want to cover this game, and I'm going to continue to cover this game. Um, I think their feedback and uh, the way they're engaging with the community is really good. It's a free-to-play game. It felt really good. All these changes sound amazing personally really looking forward to this i have a, a, a strong feeling this may be a summer of 2024 um if not a little bit later uh so yeah sound off in the comments what you think about this did you play the beta were you able to check it out if you have any questions by me uh by all means ask and um don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh, if you want come on over to the discord and come hang out with us until next time i'm hitman bk and y'all keep being good humans okay just keep being just keep being amazing